This is my series, which is a body love with Lucy, which is about making body confidence contagious. Okay, so today's workout for day four is the ultimate booty lift. Now for this routine, we're gonna do it on the floor. You don't need any equipment and we are simply gonna be doing four different moves. Now it is always a good idea. Do just make sure you have done a quick little warm up that could just be something simply marching on the spot for one minute it just helps warm up the muscles make you a little bit more pliable and flexible then I need you to come down into this position so you are lying on the floor and what I want you to do instead of having your feet directly under your hips have them slightly forwards to about a 45 degree angle okay so when you're ready if you need a bit of time press pause if not let's get straight into doing this first move so we're doing 20 reps now notice I've got my foot flex you have your toes pointing forwards and my legs as I said they're not directly straight underneath my hips they are pushed forwards a little bit in front so this is really now targeting into specific muscles and because we're doing that booty lift today it's not just one muscle in that booty we've got three and we're going to target all three of them giving you that perfect peach and that really good lift all right so you're just doing 20 reps lift it up and back down it's quite tough this one and so you will really feel it all right so what I want you to do just roll over now and we're just going to do exactly the same on the opposite leg so remember the legs are straight but they're about a 45 degree angle slightly in front of you so just coming into position and let's get ready 20 reps so you just lift that leg straight up and it is really important that you have that foot flexed on here just lift that up and then lower, you know, and this is again where we don't need to use weights because think how heavy, well you don't need to think it, you can feel it when you're lifting your leg, you know, you think our legs are really big, heavy weights, so this is where they are perfect for helping tone, lift, sculpt and shape your body. That's good, lift it up and back, well done. Okay, so this is your next move. So this time now I do want you lying in a complete straight line so your legs are stacked on top of each other and your toes are in line with your hips. Tummy is tight. So for this one now, you're gonna lift that top leg up, bend and then extend. Lift and bend. That sits you straight, then bend through the knee and then straighten the leg, lift it up. And this is a really lovely one. Targeting obviously into the bottom, but also you're working slightly into the thighs as well. You're doing 14 reps. And this one you can have the toe pointed. That's good. And back. And so I said your legs are straight down, whereas the first move they're a little bit more in front of your body. And lift it up and back. Okay, that's good. All right, so what I want you to do now, just roll over for me onto the other side. So we're gonna do exactly the same for 14 reps. So just coming into position, just make sure those um, heels are in line with your hips. And let's get ready now. Lift that leg up, bend, and then straighten 14 reps. And also this is a really lovely one for your hip flexibility. Nice control. So if you're someone that perhaps doesn't like doing squats and lunges, these workouts are perfect for you because they're all floor based. And remember, obviously with this today, I'm gonna to be toning you up. You're gonna to be kind of those inches are coming in, we're lifting the booty, but this is also really good if you want to maintain a healthy weight because by doing toning work, I'll just quickly go through the next move. So first of all, just come up now so you're on your hands and knees. And then we're going to do what I call a rainbow lunge. So you're going to start, take that leg out to the side and then lift it up and over. Go for eight reps. So what I was saying, because with these moves, what I'm doing, I'm actually now actively um, targeting muscle groups. And we're working big muscle groups. We're working through the booty. But also, the more toned your muscles are, the more active muscle fibers you have and when you have more um, active fibers then what happens is it naturally increases your basal metabolic rate okay let's now take that to the other side so we're still on your hands and knees just get ready to extend the opposite leg out up and over so that's where you know if you're looking to lose weight or maintain a healthy weight it's not just about doing the cardio and hit you have to do this sort of strength work and this is strength work even though we're not using weights because we are just using body weight and you know so doing this is really an essential part of a weight loss program as well 
Okay, so next move that you're gonna do, this time now, you're gonna start in this position. So you're still in your hands and knees, and we're just gonna really now target that booty from lots of different angles. So we lift it out to the side and up behind, lift it out and up. That's good, just keeping that going. And whilst you're in this position, it's a good idea to really work your core muscles as well. So just focus on keeping your belly button tight to your spine for me. That's it. And as said, today is all about getting that perfect peach. And remember that perfect peach isn't anyone else's. It's just about yours because this is all about being body confident. And as I said, obviously, let's just now take that to the opposite leg. We all want to feel our best. So I'm not denying that we can't have, you know, a pert peach and toned thighs. That's fine. But as long as we know we're doing it for us and we're not trying to look like someone else think that's so important. So just squeezing that up, lift that out to the side. And also doing this sort of exercise is so good for your body. It makes your body more functional. You can cope with daily day, daily activities, so many things. It's about building your body as a machine and we want to keep it fine tuned and strong. Okay. So let's go for doing it all once more. If you need to, you can always hit the pause button. So we're going to come to that first start position. So remember with this, your body is in, you're lying in a straight line, but then shuffle your feet slightly forward to a 45 degree angle. And let's get ready. We're going to lift it up and back down. You're doing 20 reps. So with this one, again, focus on having those toes pointing forward. So the foot is flexed, lift it up and lower. And this one is actually really tough. I think after like 10, I can like, oh my goodness, you can really feel it working. But remember, it's when we get challenged, that's when our body really reacts. So it is important that we do need to feel challenged. Lifting that up and back down. It's the last time you're doing this exercise on this side today. Okay, so let's just now take that over to the opposite side. So again, just make sure you've got those feet slightly in front. Lift it up and lower, 20 reps. So as I said, through the booty, we've got three muscle groups. We've got your gluteus medius, gluteus maximus, and gluteus minius. minius. I never pronounce any of them right, I'm so bad with that. But it is really important to target all three. That's where we wouldn't just want to be doing squats and lunges. You've got to work them from the three different planes of motion, which is sagittal, frontal, and lateral, which is what we're doing in this workout. Okay, just lift it up and then lower back down. Okay, so your next move, this time have your legs so they are directly in line with your hips. We're gonna do that really nice bit like a ballet move lying on the floor, this one. And back, so you're doing 14 reps, that's good. And this one here now, it's really nice because you're also activating and working through the thigh. Um, because if you think about it, think about how many joints you're working here. And I think it's a really good thing, you know, really understand what your body is doing, engage with it. You know, the more you understand how the body works, I really think the better results you get. So if you think how many joints you're working through now, you're working through your hip and then your knee joint. So your hip as you lift the leg up and knee joint then as you bend and extend. Okay, so let's just roll over now to do the other side. Last time of this exercise today. So we'll get ready to lift that leg up, bend, and then straighten. And also, whilst you're in this position, be aware of keeping your belly button tight to your spine because what that's doing, then we are activating and strengthening your core strength and stability, and it's also then helping with balance. Lift that up, and then lower that back. That's good. Lift, and just extending that through. Well done. And back, lifting it up, and extend. All right, well done, that's good. And let's just go, last one. All right, so your next move, let's come up onto your hands and knees. We're gonna do that rainbow lunge. So you're gonna start by taking one foot directly out to the side, aiming to have it in line with your hip, and now lift it up and over. And as this series is all about um, body love, body confidence, um, tomorrow you've got another hip workout. Then after that, I think it's Saturday, I'm going to have a really good video for you all about how we change our mindset and start liking who we are. And some of you already do, which is brilliant. That's that's so important and that's something we're really going to address in this series. All right, let's now take that to the opposite side. And again, with this one, you're just now going to start that leg out to the side, lift it up and over. Now with this one, imagine you are drawing a rainbow. Because the key thing with this is you want to get it really high and then to low. That's it. Lift it up and then over. Fantastic. Doing really well. And come 
back, reach it across and over. So imagine you're just drawing that rainbow. Okay, and last move today, we're gonna to finish off with doing these. We go for 20 reps, so we lift it directly up behind and then out to the side. And so this one here, we are literally targeting all three of those muscles are through that booty, 20 reps. And again, just focus on keeping your tummy really tight for me, doing really well, lifting that up and back, that's good. And if you are someone that perhaps really wants to work on that area like the bottom, the thighs, don't forget, I do have a um, four week plan which is designed specifically for a pair body shape. So I pick you the right workout videos um, that are gonna be ideal for targeting the issues and areas that you want to work on. So let's just go for last 20. I'll um, leave the description or I'll leave the link for that in the description box down below. Okay, that's good, lift that up and squeeze. So really squeeze that tight, keep that booty lifted as you squeeze that behind, feel that work in there, keep the abs tight, you're doing really well, we're nearly done today, lifting that up and then back. And remember the benefit of today, not only will we have toned, sculpted you, but you will also have burnt off quite a few calories and you will have increased your natural calories of burn rate as well. Okay, so let's go for doing some stretches and let's start off with doing a hamstring stretch. Leg is straight in front, feel that through the back of the upper thigh, hands are on the bent leg and just running alongside on the left, that text, that is all from my four week body shape um, plan which is designed for pear shapes which focus, focuses on targeting the areas that a typical pear shape perhaps wants to work on like saddlebags, booty, thighs, etc. Okay, so let's just feel that stretch. Holding that there. All right, so for your next stretch now, let's just go for doing that quadricep stretch. So we're just gonna take one hand onto the wall if you need to, the other one supporting the foot, just feel that running up through the front of the thigh. Holding that there, and let's then just take that now to the opposite leg, and also within that four week plan, we focus on healthy, clean eating, which is essential, especially if you're wanting to lose a little bit of body weight, and then obviously, We've got some motivation in there because we've got some incredible results from doing my workouts as well. Okay, so let's just do a nice side stretch. So you're just going to come down just because we've done quite a lot for the inner thighs, travel it across and then to the opposite side. So well done. If you've liked today's workout, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, then obviously let me know. And then what we're back to doing tomorrow, we are going to be back to doing another one of the kind of like hit cardio workouts. So um, already now, day four, you should be feeling good. You should be feeling more body confident. You should have more energy. And if you like these videos, please also share them on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, wherever. And um, if you're not already, definitely subscribe and I'll see you back on my channel tomorrow.